COVID-19 outbreak is having a huge impact on the cruise line industry. We've been following the story of the more than 40 Minnesotans stuck on that one cruise ship off the coast of California for days. Mm -hmm. Reports show the industry lost nearly $750 million <sighs> in January. You know, we had uh, another Minnesota couple quarantined on a cruise ship for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and that is the fear right now. If you have uh, tickets to go on a cruise, right, mm -hmm. you can't risk it. You can't, you uh, really who can't. has the flexibility to possibly add two, three weeks to their right. vacation? And you talked to people yesterday making that talked decision. Talked to a gal yesterday. Right? She and her family uh, going uh, on a cruise. They had booked one for for next week, the following week, down out of Miami. Instead, they're mm -hmm. going to go to Disney World and mm -hmm. and take the credit. Fortunately, okay. the cruise industry is stepping up and they're allowing credits and no rebooking fees and so forth. So people are not out their money. Uh, what amazes forward. me, and it shows you how much people yeah. love to cruise, right. is they that do. the first Minnesota couple that we talked about being quarantined, mm -hmm. they were offered another free cruise. Mm -hmm. And you think, after you've been quarantined, you wouldn't do it. Yeah. You wouldn't do it. They <laughs> yeah. were like, we would do it. Yeah. yeah, We would do it. So I think it's very attractive to people. And we know the cruise industry employs more than 420 thousand Americans. Enormous, which is right. a, a huge. I mean, they're taking a huge brunt from this. Yeah. I mean, this industry is, you know, it makes me think back to the swine flu. You mm -hmm. know, the pork industry took the brunt. You know, we had mad cow. The cattle industry did. They are really taking a hard hit on this. And you got to feel sorry for them because, again, this is spring break. This is the time of oh, year. Oh, yeah. A lot of people and cruises are a big deal. I think a lot of people save for them. This mm -hmm. is a goal. They look forward to this the entire year and having to cancel and... Well, and it's a heck of a time to book a trip. Probably get a great deal. You can get good deals. Cheap, cheap, I've been looking at airline tickets. It, right? We were yeah. talking about that yesterday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Airline tickets. And but you said the airlines are being gracious, $200 too. $200 round trip to Paris. Right. I mean, to <laughs> Paris. That's crazy. Yeah. So, well, you'll be on a relatively yeah. empty plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah you will. But still, that's the reality. Royal Caribbean canceled 18 trips to Asia. Norwegian cruise lines canceled 40. Yeah. Shares of the major cruise lines are down 60 to 70 percent. Uh, and it's the risk of quarantine, I think, is the number one Even thing. Even more than COVID. Really. Yeah, so I think How so. long does this because continue? That's the, that's the question. You know, does well, this continue into summer? Into, into summer. June? Yeah. It's going to be I, devastating. I just feel for the people because you know what's the thing. This yeah. could be one trip of a lifetime. Right, they absolutely. For. You know, people love their vacations. You know, mm -hmm. with kids, the Disney cruises, it's huge. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's just, it's a bummer for everybody that has to do this, especially the workers, too. I mean, you know, we talked about 420,000 Americans. It's a lot of people. That's true. People people Telling kids they can't go on a Disney cruise. Yeah. Well, you know, it's the family thing. You know, this is maybe the one time a year that the family can actually do a big vacation. Yeah, yeah. You know, absolutely. So it's, yeah, yeah unfortunate. Well, we'll follow it as and, and see if people, you know, how cheap. Does it have to be? I don't know if reducing <laughs> no prices price is, is going to make a difference. Yeah, I'll tell yeah, you that. Yeah. That's right. <laughs>